Mr. and Mrs. Purcell, you purchased a lottery ticket. Correct. Where did you purchase it? A bar next to our home. And where is that? In Sandy, Oregon. When did you purchase it? February 20th, 2016. How much did you pay for the lottery ticket and what were the prizes? Uh, we paid $20 for 20 games. It was an eight spot Kino ticket. Have you played this particular lottery before and it's an Oregon lottery? Yes, and yes we have. Did you ever win before? Yes. And prior to this ticket, how much had you won before? We won one for $600 once. And that's the only time? No, we've won a couple for about that amount. A couple for $600? Yes. So it more than paid for itself? Yes. I assume. That's yes. why you keep playing. Lucky people. Yeah, right. and we've lost a few, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've lost a few, oh, too. Oh, I can imagine. People usually only talk about their wins. Absolutely. So, you bought this lottery ticket, and lo and behold, you won. How much did you win? $1,750. And you found out that you won how? Well, my husband went and checked the did you win machine, and it said, you're a winner, please see your retailer. So he brought it up to the, the bartender, who is our witness, Tria, and she scanned the ticket. Now, if you win over $600, it doesn't tell you immediately how much you won. You have to go back and check the numbers, and then you can find out how much you won. But we had hit seven out of the eight numbers, and that paid $1,750. What did you do next? Celebrated. And then the next day, we, I went and got a claim form, which you can get right there at the saloon. And I brought it home, and Dave, my husband, filled it out the next day. Listing your name, your address. It was in my name. He put the claim form in my name. He even took a picture of the ticket. Okay. Um, we put it in the claim form and sent it out the next day. And you have a picture of the ticket? Yes. Correct. And then what do they do? They send you a check? Yep, you send it into Salem, Oregon, and it usually takes about three days to get it back. And it didn't come back? And it didn't come back. And you began investigating, and you had the picture of the ticket with the numbers. Yep, we waited the two weeks that they tell you to wait. On the 15th day, I called down there to lottery and gave her my last name and the numbers. I said, uh, we didn't receive our money. Well, they didn't have any of our information. So I told Dave, someone claimed our ticket. Somebody stole our ticket. So that's when we, I put in a public records request through the lottery and received his information. Okay, and that's how we get to the defendant who cashed your lottery ticket. Correct. Okay. First, I'd like to see a photo of the ticket. He has it on his phone that okay. has that is actually date stamped. I have a picture of it here, but if you'd like to see it with the um, the date on it, I would. That's the picture of the ticket, and then he has it on his phone also. That was taken in February. Got it. Thank you. We also have our claim form. You'd like to I'd see like that. to. I would. As a matter of fact, I'd like to have it up here. You notice the date. It's the 22nd of February. Okay. Did you contact Mr. Linwood personally? I contacted him through Facebook. And did he respond? Yes. Uh, after a couple of attempts. Okay. And what did he say to you when he responded on Facebook? I'd be to glad to show you that. I'd like to see it. I draw your attention to the last few. I'm going to read them all. Um, yeah because he does change his story a couple of Justice. times. Okay. okay. What do you do for a living, Mr. Linwood? I drive forklift, I do retail, and I do warehouse work. Let's try to get one cogent story, sir. Okay. On what date did this lottery ticket come into your possession? It had to have been February 27th or probably the beginning of March. And how did it come into your possession? Came into my possession, uh, my father-in-law at the time, he contacted me one morning saying, hey, I won a lottery ticket of $1,750. I said, oh, wow, that's awesome. He said, well, could you help me out? It's unsigned. Can you turn it in for me? Because if I turn it in, I'm afraid that child support will take most of it. And I said, yeah, sure. Stand up. What do you do for a living? I'm a well driller. What's your last name? Richard. On what date did this lottery ticket come into your possession? It was on a Friday night. I was at a bar called the Country Corral. You go to the bar often? No. I played video poker that night. Is this bar near to where you live? Mm, close, yes. You never know where I'm going to be going, Mr. Richard. Right. Do you understand? I got gotcha. you. Great. So it's close to where you live, and you've lived at this address for how long? Probably two months at the time. Why two months? Because I relocated. With whom did you relocate? My daughter and my son-in-law.